Warhammer family and welcome back to the newest video of the Road to Gullum and Painting Challenge. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the Contemptor Dreadnought that I painted. Now this is from the Betrayal of Calc box, so this is one of the 30k Contemptor Dreadnoughts. Absolutely lovely model, it's a fantastic model, I love painting it, it's great to look at. But before I get into it, stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I'm going to be painting next week. But then it's up to you to choose what I paint after that. So I'm going to have a list of four things, four units to choose from. So whatever you guys choose, that's what I'm going to be painting the week after. So make sure to stay tuned for that and to get your vote in. All the details will be shared at the end of the video. So with enough talk, let's switch down to the table view and have a look at the Contemptor Dreadnought. Alright, so here he is. Here is the Contemptor Dreadnought. Now, the first thing I thought with this guy is, this would be an awesome model to do a painting tutorial on because... Uh, it's it's a chunky model, you know, a lot of parts should be a bit easier than painting a smaller model. But literally everything on this model is the exact same colours, the exact same techniques that I used on every other thing I painted, I painted on the Road to Gullman painting channel. So it kind of seemed pointless to do it because I had just put up a painting tutorial on an Intercessor Marine and this literally would have been the exact same. So... Let's just let's talk about it a little bit. So first of all, I obviously I started off with the McCraig blue all over. Uh, most of it is on the legs and the front armor. Um, then with the null and oil wash in the recesses that I've that's my main go to thing. Just null and oil in the recesses and um, tidied up then and then highlighted with Calgar blue. Just to, uh, just on the big edges to make them pop a little bit more. Now most of the back is. All metal colour, so instead of messing with that too much, I just went with lead belcher, null and oil, and then highlights of Stormhole Silver all over just the big prominent metal parts to help them stick out a little bit more. So that was like the back of the legs, his entire back, uh, the weapons, uh, the exhausts on the top are a little bit different because instead of giving them the null and oil wash, I went over with two washes of Agrax or Shed to give them like a dirty used look instead of just having a, a dark metal look. Um, the gold again was Retributor Armor, but I went with an Agrax Earthshed wash instead just to make it a little bit darker, to make it a little bit more dirtier. And then with the highlight of Liberator Gold, I have to think about that for a second. Um, and then of course, I'm going to take them off this for a little bit. Just to get them to stop spinning so I can show uh, parts that I'm wanting to talk about. So we have the scroll here, which I didn't write on yet. I did attempt right before painting, but I kind of messed it up a little bit. So I'm going to come back to that eventually when I have to do a couple of things that require like really, really tiny detail. Um, so I'll have it nailed down by the time I get around to doing it. That was a Zandri Dust with Ushanti Bow. Oh no, Screaming Skull. Screaming Bell. Screaming Skull uh, over the wash of I originally I went to a server from Sepia the scroll came out red and it, it really did look a little bit rubbish so I changed that out to uh, I painted back over it and I put Agrax or Shade uh, mostly in the recesses and then Screaming Skull then on top of that so the main thing with this guy was the base is pretty big, big actually so I put a lot more cork on it than I usually would I put little patches of grass on it as well and um, just to add a little bit more detail. Now, you, I'm not sure if you can see too much, but the legs are dry brushed with Mechanist Grey because I wanted the legs to look a little bit more dirtier. I didn't want to overdo it, so it's kind of like, like it almost looks like nearly a highlight, but it's on the prominent parts of Grey, so it's like a dusty look on the bottom of his legs. Now, of course, one of the things I did with this guy, I made this guy. I'm going to put him back on the stand here, let him spin around. Now this guy, this model came out, I think, oh man, it was a good few years ago. My wife got it for me. Um, I just never got around to painting it. But I did do a tutorial a long time ago on doing the arms. So, his arms are magnetized. So they come off. That was really handy to get him painted. Uh, so I can switch out. Now, I don't know why I magnetized his left arm. Because there's only one choice for that. So... I did magnetize both of them, but I did stick on, or I did paint the, I think it's an auto cannon, but some sort of, I can't remember my 40k guns, but it's a, like a Gatling cannon on his right arm, which I absolutely love. I think I prefer this layout, or this uh, weapon choice than the other one, but my favorite part is, of course, the arm. 
I love the little pistol on the inside of it, which I didn't manage to drill little holes in, which was incredible, incredibly difficult to get, you know, perfect, but I didn't get it exactly perfect, but I'm happy enough with it. But, you know, this guy turned out really well. The base is a little bit basic, but I'm happy with it. I could, I could add little parts onto it later on, um, like little details, like weapon parts or something like that, something all these broken parts on the end. But overall, I'm really happy how this guy turned out. As I said, there's no point in doing a patent tutorial on it because it's the exact, literally the exact same scheme as the Space Marine Intercessor. So hopefully you guys like that model. I had a lot of fun painting it. I'm still getting a little bit tired of painting blue, but the grind must go on. The Road to Gullman Painting Challenge has to be finished. So next week, I'm going to be painting up a librarian model. And that's going to be a lot of fun. I really love that model. It's a great pose. It's a great sculpt. And it's going to be a fun model to paint. But what am I going to be painting after that? And that's where you guys come in. So I have four choices for you guys to choose from. The first one is three aggressor models. The second choice is a chaplain model. The third choice is the Grand Master Voldus. A little bit different from uh, Pen Ultramarine colours. But a great model nonetheless. And finally, I'm going to go back to the tactical marine size models. This is a captain model. One of the old kits where I think they were called uh, Space Marine Commander models. Where there's lots of different parts to choose from. Lots of different weapons. So I have all them bits still in a box. And I'm going to be painting up all that. Uh, not just the model, but all the spare bits as well. If it's chosen. Because I have that guy magnetised. So that could be something to look forward to. So that's your four choices to choose from. The places where you can pick are, of course, this video. Instagram, Twitter, and of course, Facebook. So make sure you guys choose what you want me to paint next week. So it's up to you. I'm coming to you guys for this. And I'm wanting you guys to give me feedback on what to paint. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys choose. Um, there's, a, there's a bit of a choice in there. Not everything's the same. So it's going to be interesting to see what you guys pick. So make sure to hit the like button and comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.